Edi Koiki Mabo was from the Merriam people, who occupied the Mur Islands in the Torres Strait. They had systems of land ownership based on traditional custom. They cultivated and lived on their land in villages. After annexation of the islands by Queensland in 1879, they continued to be largely self-governing, and their traditional land system continued. However, at law, all land in Australia was initially terra nullius, or empty land. The land became property of the Crown, the ultimate owner of all land, with radical title, which it could then grant to its subjects. Sir Gerard Brennan said, The common law itself took from Indigenous inhabitants any right to occupy their traditional land, exposed them to deprivation of the religious, cultural and economic sustenance which the land provides, vested the land effectively in the control of imperial authorities without any right to compensation, and made the Indigenous inhabitants intruders in their own homes. He said, an unjust and discriminatory doctrine of that kind can no longer be accepted. Brennan distinguishes between radical title, the right to rule land, and beneficial title, which is ownership in the usual sense. He found the Crown had radical title, but did not always have beneficial title, and in those cases, native title may have persisted. He said, if the land were occupied by the Indigenous inhabitants and their rights and interest in the land are recognised by the common law, the radical title which is acquired with the acquisition of sovereignty cannot itself be taken to confer an absolute beneficial title to the occupied land. For native title to persist, there had to be ongoing connection between the land and traditional owners. Where a group has continued to acknowledge the laws and observe the customs based on the traditions of that group, whereby their traditional connection with the land has been substantially maintained, the traditional community title of that group remains in existence. Where land use was inconsistent with native title, native title was extinguished. He said, A reservation of land for future use as a school, a courthouse or a public office, will not by itself extinguish native title. Construction of the building, however, would be inconsistent with the continued enjoyment of native title, which would thereby be extinguished. The Mabo case led to the Native Title Act 1993, which has seen millions of hectares of land returned to traditional owners. (music) 